There's, there's very little sort of documented about female gang culture. So was this something really exciting and, and new for you to explore? Well, I didn't look at it as um, trying to uh, look at a specific culture or a gang culture. And the word gang, in, you know, is, is, is already kind of uh, misleading, I think. Um, I really wanted to make a movie about friendship and about sisterhood and how um, friendship, especially among women uh, at teenagehood, are so important, like they're the great love stories. Uh, of, of our teenagehood, but it was really exciting to um, to to have that perspective on on a film of friendship and female empowerment because of course it's it's pretty rare actually to have like um, strong female character in the center of a movie. So. Um <laughs> I mean, the interesting thing is that it, it is set in a, in a... It's like a project. We don't really have that yeah. here. So what made that the right setting then for you to, to, to show that the story of really this kind of coming-of-age story of a young lady, isn't it? Well, you know, all my movies are set in the suburbs, um, and I think... Well, I, I grew up in the suburbs, um, uh, of course, I'm a white, middle-class girl, but still, um, I think it's a great place for fiction, um, and especially for coming-of-age stories and emancipation stories, because it's the periphery. So you are the margin, um, and so you strongly want to reach the center. You have like a strong dream. There's a strong perspective for the characters. That's why I, I like to put my characters in that periphery, because I think it, it's a strong storytelling. Was it, was it difficult to... To get to get into the, to that actual the the area and, and research because obviously you want to bring some truth to this you, you know it's not going to be the same as a white middle class girl yeah. so was it is easy for you to go into the community and and research it and bring as much truth as you possibly can to that well you know at first the the, the process of writing was kind of a lonely pr moment so when I really tried to bring life to a strong friction actually thinking about classical storytelling of you know what a girl wants is always kind of the same story then uh, in the process of casting which was we, we did a lot of street casting we met like 300 girls and actually you know I documented that you know those meetings who they were their energy the way they dress the way they talk and and um, and trying to you know you, you meet a generation um, and working with uh, actors that are non-professional, you actually kind of, of course, um, document who they are. There's obviously like a naivety about your sort of protagonist, um, and I wondered by using an actor that is fresh, that's that's never you know been on screen before, that that you, you she is going on a journey as well with it. Is is that something that you wanted to bring to the screen? Yeah, I I, I really like um, to work with uh, with young actors because you actually. Uh, and with this journeys of getting the trust, you know, it's actually getting the trust uh, for the character, but also for the young actress. And um, and you, you and also like the fact that the audience discovers a face and is and believes in the character so much because uh, well, she's a new face. Um, and you actually, you know, you watch them grow. I think cinema is a lot always about watching somebody grow. That's what I like to do. And 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 the actresses, they kind of grow on the screen, and it's something beautiful to watch. The other thing that I really liked about the film was this kind of study of human behaviour, mm -hmm. and particularly that, you know, you see again the protagonist, she's, 
she's this very gentle girl actually but sort of put into she, she's been bullied and, and I don't necessarily think she would be a bully mm -hmm. unless she's put in that situation so was that also something interesting for you to explore about about the human consciousness really and what we can do when we're in that situation yeah she's in very you know the, 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 she has, the movie has very strong steps for the character and it's built around chapters and each chapter is kind of an identity she goes through with a very different costume like kind of a different hair haircut and 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 so it's kind of like a superhero journey i really thought of it that way like she she tries out different identities as different costumes and she sees what um, power the costume gives her um, so I really wanted to show how contrasted she could be, you know, and, and it's it's the same character but going through very, very uh, different stages. She's that uh, childish, uh, shy girl in the beginning and, and then she becomes this powerful um, diva among other girls and, uh, and then she can be boyish and she can be one of the boys and it's all the hypotheses of herself that actually, sh that are at rich and she tries them out um, and uh, eventually to find out, you know, who she truly is. One of my favourite film, film, my favourite parts in the, or scenes in the film, I should say, is the diamonds in the sky mm -hmm. scene and um, obviously it's a light moment in the, in the movie yeah. but also for me it felt like every girl has done this you know and it makes even somebody like myself who doesn't know this culture and society mm -hmm. it makes it relatable was that an important scene for you to actually to bring and, and hopefully open it out to an audience yeah it's the key scene of the film and um, it, it was there since the first draft of the script uh, and with the Rihanna song that I really hoped I, I could get and um, it's a key scene because it's it's about the birth of a friendship and how uh, friendship is a choreography um, and it's the key scene because that's the time that they, they, they love each other um, and it's also the moment where you actually love them um, so then you're going all the way for it um, and it's um, it's a strong narrative scene um, and, a, and, a, and a very emotional one and that's that, that was like, yeah like the scene that I really wanted to shoot so shine bright.